Hi, it's time for your home workout with Jill because I'm a firm believer that we can get fit in our houses. Um, so today we are going to do um, a core exercise, core workout. So the mean 15, 15 core exercises, 15 times each. Um, the only thing that you're going to need is your body weight and a mat um, and an exercise ball, um, as well as um, for one exercise, you have the option of using some dumbbells like I will today. Um, okay, have fun. Okay, so let's get started. Exercise number one of 15, the dive bomber push-up. This one is so hard on your upper body and your core. So what we're going to do is get your feet uh, mat width apart and your hands mat width apart. And you want to push your hips up like you're in downward dog. We're going to scoop under a fence and end up in upward dog. And then reverse the movement, push back again. We're going to do 15. So make sure... You keep your core engaged the whole time. Do your best to scoop when you push back as well. I find this one really hard. So my pushback is sort of turning into a downward dog, but that's okay. Just do as many as you can, scoop in with good form, and then switch to that. Uh, 
have two options, more advanced version. You're gonna have your arms and legs off the ground, and we're gonna alternate lowering our leg to the ground. So hold for a count of about one, two, bring it back up, one, two, bring it back up, and we're gonna do 15 on each side. Modified version, version, lay with your arms by your sides and slightly tucked under your hips. Engage your core. So with both of these modifications or both of these versions, you want to feel like you're pulling your belly button to the ground. Um, your low back should stay in contact with the ground the entire time. If it's arching off the ground in the advanced version, go to the modified version. This one here. And then we'll go one, two, switch. One, two, switch. Okay, so 15 on each side. Lower abs. I'm picking my head, neck, shoulders up off the ground to engage my upper abdominal region. So my foot doesn't quite touch the ground. It should stay a couple of inches off the ground when I go down. Extend our body back, 
Come in and touch your ankles. Extend, come in and touch your ankles. If you're a beginner and this exercise seems a little bit too much for you, just work on holding your balance here with an engaged core, your feet off the ground, and your back in the straight position as you can get. Okay, hold that. Work on holding that for the time it takes me to do my 15 in and out. One. Make sure you fully lift that elbow up in between your reps. Knees, 
So here, for example, the easier the exercise is, the closer it is to your toes, the harder it is. So I'm gonna give her a go for my toes and uh, 15 reps. Here we go. So in, out, push up. In, out, push up. So my back isn't dipping. I'm keeping my hips up high.
If you're a beginner, you might just want to work on holding plank. Here we go, 30 reps because it's 15 on each side. Have a great day.